Good afternoon, pretty friends. This is Allison Wheeler. I wanted to come on this afternoon and make a very short video um, explaining a, situ or a situation, I guess, that came up in the Facebook group. It, someone had posted about um, having a black and white photo and then wanting to use some of the presets um, like from the Luminous collection. Here, let me pull one up. And you can see um, how they put color on a black and white image. So I'm just gonna, we'll just click on one. Um, like say you wanted to add some bokeh or um, maybe some sun flare in an image, but it's already black and white and you can't really convert it back to black and white because it's already there. So what you can do in a situation like this is um, you'll have to come up here to your um, panel up here just above the basic and these adjustments are either going to be in the brushes, the radial filters, or the graduated filters. So I just usually start at graduated filter and we see that there are three pins pop up and so you can click here and it, it'll pull up where it says I always push show selected so the red shows where it is and if there's a color selected, it'll be right here in this box. And so I usually click that. You know, if there's no color, it'll have kind of like an X in the box. So I just click to pull up the color box. Oops. Let's see if it'll come now. Okay, and you can see the saturation level right here is at 4%. So you can just tap in and type in zero. You can scroll it down all the way to zero just like that and you can do that for each one of the graduated filters um, or the brushes I'll go ahead and do this one see that one's just at one so it's hardly any color um, and I'll go ahead and I know we've got one more but just for the quick tutorial of this video we'll do this radial filter real quick let's see if there's any radial filters that pop up um, oh yeah, see, they're all over the place. So what you can do is just find one, like this little pink one right here. Just highlight that and you can see over here in the little color box, it's pink. So you can just go here, dial it down to zero, and there you go. And you can do those for um, whichever ones you want to change. Whoops, I don't know why my computer always does that. So this one, we're working on this little green one over here come over here you can scroll it down to zero close it and then move on to another one so it's just really really simple it could be a little bit time consuming because um, like in this um, preset there was a lot of colors to change but if you wanted to keep it all um, you know monochromatic in that grayscale that is something that you all can do um, hopefully that was really simple and easy and understandable. Um, so that is how to remove the color from these luminous presets. Hope you guys have a good day.